guys and here thanks for joining me in this video I'm going to do a makeup tutorial of the makeup that I'm wearing now I'm going out this evening to a fabulous friend's 50th birthday and so I thought I would do the full-on makeup look that I'm going to wear tonight this is um, the sort of makeup that I would wear on going out using all the techniques that I use instead of the quick 10-15 uh, minute makeup that I would do for work or for a weekend so I thought I would show you what I was doing tonight so if you would like to see how I achieved this makeup look please keep watching so fresh face got my skincare on um, I've just done a post on my microbladed eyebrows so that's what they look like without any makeup on so my microbaded eyebrows, I have got my eyelash extensions in and I'm going to start with a primer. Now I'm going out this evening so I'm going to do the whole hog today. So I'm going to use my Tarte Clean Slate Timer Smoothing Primer. So I'm just going to take a wee bit on the back of my hand. It's a very, very thick putty consistency and just push it into the pores. I've got quite large pores. On, my, on the daily, I don't use this primer. This is just a um, primer if I want to do the extra steps. Um, a lot of people like the Benefit Professional. I don't particularly like it. I find, even though it's very similar to this one, I tend to get a lot more um, slip and oily with the professional primer. This one here doesn't seem to affect the um, grease factor. in my skin so I quite like this one but as I said I don't use it every day on the daily just when I want a particularly smooth complexion when I'm going out so that's that one now I'm going to be super indulgent this evening and I'm going to use a second primer this one I do use on the daily in um I either use this one or my YSL primer. This is the Dr. Brent Pores No More Pore Refiner. I tend to use this one daily for work um, or my YSL blur primer. Just what I feel like using on the day. So that's the primers. Okay, I've just had a wee bit of a fiddle with the camera. Try and get it in a better angle so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm going to apply my foundation. This evening I'm going to use the Lemur Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation. And I'm going to apply it with my Beauty Blender. Now, I always heard a wee bit about how people preferred the Black Beauty Blender to the normal Pink Beauty Blender and I thought, ah, a sponge is a sponge. Well, I must admit, I will only buy the Black Pro Sponge in future. I really, really like the sponge. I don't know what it, what it is that is different, but I do like it. Now, this is the size of a Beauty Blender when you um, when it is dry or brand new. What you do is you run it under the running water under the tap and you squeeze it as the water's running on it and then it expands to twice the size just about. I really like the Black Beauty Blender. Once you've expanded it with the water and it got it to the size that it should be, I then give it a quick squeeze with a towel around it just to get the excess water out so that it's not too damp when applying my foundation. So I'll shake the bottle up. I'm not doing anything fancy today. It's just going straight on my 
face. It's probably a little bit more than normal, but as I am going out, I want a bit of a full coverage. And then we just bounce it into our skin. Make sure to get your ears so that it all blends in. For some reason, the rest of my body is super pale at the moment, so even my normal everyday <clears throat> foundations are a little bit darker than my neck. I think I might have to look at getting a light colour to tie me over these winter months, I think. Get in there because I get quite dark. Down in that eye area. Okay, now just looking at my skin, I've got a bit of pigmentation that, that hasn't covered, so I'm just going to put a little bit more on there. I might have to put a bit of concealer. If I want to cover it up, we'll see how it goes. So now I'm just going to go off camera and just shush my brows up a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that my brows are done, we are going to use concealer. Now I have two different concealers that I like to use. I like to use my By Terry Densilis concealer, but this evening I'm going to try and use my NARS soft matte complete concealer my color is in light three honey i quite like this it comes in a pot form just going to use a wee concealer brush and having aged i like this because it has a little bit of a pink or peachy tone to it which helps counteract the blue lines and try not to put too much on to give the cakey look and then I'm taking my blank my damp beauty blender and using the pointy end just to blend that in just like that Okay, so that's my concealer. Then I'm going to take the RMS, RMS Unpowder, my favourite powder of the moment, which is really great for my mature yet combination woolly skin. I'm taking the Morphe E41 powder brush. Really, really like this powder brush. This is so different. Using the brushes that I probably should have taken on holiday. And then I just pat that into my skin. And then brush off all the excess. Now the makeup I'm going to do today is going to be the whole hog makeup that I do, not just my quick um, makeup that I would do on holiday or for work. So brows, foundation, concealer and powder. Now I'm going to contour those 
so-called cheekbones of mine and I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs, very grubby, the Marc Jacobs um, Mirage Filter contour palette here. It has a, um, a yellow powder here that's great for under the eyes if you don't have mature crepey um, eyes but I really like the tone of the contour and this is the contour brush that I like to use. Now I bought this years and years and years ago um, when Boots used to have a store in Colombo Street so that's going back many many years and then I'm just going to contour there just to give a slight definition to the hollows of my cheeks because I don't really have a hollow of my cheek. Then I'm going to use the same contour powder and using the Morphe E47. Now you can use this brush in two ways. You can stamp loose powder along here so that you don't get fallout when you're doing your eyes. Um, I've discovered I quite like it for contouring my nose because it's such a dainty 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 brush so it just supposed to slim the nose down just a wee bit and I will take my beauty blender just with the excess that's on it and blend that a wee bit so it doesn't look like I've got two zebra stripes down my face now I have just acquired a new bronzer limited edition Marc Jacobs um, Omega bronzer in Tantastic it's just become available on Sephora NZ so I thought I would try it out so let's see how it goes I haven't used it yet only arrived yesterday and with that I'm going to use the Morphe R2 brush bronzer brush now I wish I'd had this on holiday because it's a lot nicer and easier to use instead of the tiny little wee thing I had while I was away. Lessons learned. I'll probably take less brushes away next time, but just take the the ones that um, I know are tried and true instead of trying anything new and uncharted. So that just is to give my face a bit more dimension than just flat foundation just to give it some colour okay now I'm going to move on to the eyes and I'm going to use a eyeshadow primer this time I'm going to use a nice um, affordable eyeshadow primer I'm using the Maybelline Colour Tattoo 24 hour shade in barely branded. Now these are really affordable, you can get them from the supermarket, the warehouse, uh, farmers, and then I'm just applying that all over my lid to give myself an even base for my eyeshadows. Once again, if you did want something minimal, you could do that. Lashes, Bob's your uncle, you're done. But we all know I'm a little bit more high maintenance than that. Right, now, shadows. I'm going to try some of my shadows out of my Makeup Geek slash Anastasia palette. I don't know what I'm going to do, so we'll just play as we go. Okay, I'm going to take this first colour here. Vanilla Bean. 
and I'm just going to, it's Makeup Geek Vanilla Bean, and I'm just going to set that cream eyeshadow and have a base for my colours. Okay, and that was just a big fluffy brush that I actually got on NZ sale a long time ago. Now I'm going to be using the Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm going to take Peach Smoothie as a transition colour, just doing little circular motions across the brow into window wiper action after the wee circles. Same on the other eye, just a little circular motions and the, above the socket line. Now if you're wondering where your socket line is, if you take say the end of a and you just rest it on your eyeball there, it's usually the crease there. So that is where you'd want your darker darker transition colour and then your lighter transition colours above that. And it's an easy way to find where your socket line is. So that's the transition shade there. Then we will go to a little bit of a darker trans transition shade and I'm going to use a Morphe R37 brush Classic Makeup Geek Shadow, this one here and that is Creme Brulee Doing the same again Little circular motions Just a wee bit lower than where we were with the last shadow but just blending it in to that first shade and just defining the socket line a little bit more Okay, now I'm going to go down to a Morphe 441 brush. I went Vanilla Bean, Peach Smoothie, Creme Brulee, now I'm going Latte. These are all very um, iconic Makeup Geek shadows. Doing the same thing again. Once again, just coming a little bit lower. I'm sticking more to the outer third of the eye. I'm just going back to the first brush I used with no extra colour on it and I'm just going to blend the edges. So it doesn't look like any harsh lines. Okay, I'm going to take another brush. I'm going back to... I'm going to take an R40 brush. I just want to add a little pop of colour and I'm going to go with this yellow colour just for a bit of punch and this is Chickadee I am very lightly just going to put that in the crease there blend it in just to add some 
Something, something. Okay. Go back to my original brush, no extra colour. And just blend those edges out. Like that. Going to go with the small tapered blending brush in E45 from Sigma. And we're going to go with a darker colour. And I might go for this colour down here. Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Plum. And I'm just going to use that to give a little out of the colour and really I'm not going to be using very much of this at all just slightly in the edge there try and get it to go up so my hooded eyes don't look quite so hooded but really not using much at all just putting that in the outer edge and blend and go back to one of the other brushes I used and soften the edge out so it doesn't look hard you want it to all look blended and soft let me just go back again you're better off going back with a little bit on your brush and adding it two or three times than you are to put one big dose on all at once. So this is sort of a smoky eye for me. But as I'm going out for the evening, yeah. I'm happy with that. And So there we go, I'm just going to blend that out and there we go. Now we're going to go for Starry Eyed by Makeup Geek. Now for something like that you want to take a flat shading brush and if you wanted more intensity you could wet your brush. I think that's going to be fine. And you just pack it on your eyelid. Give yourself a bit of sparkle. And then just to blend that in again. Just go back with one of the brushes used previously to blend that in so it doesn't all look harsh. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to use an eyeliner and I'm going to use my favourite eyeliner, the Marc Jacobs Fine Liner in Blacker. I'm really scared I'm going to run out of this soon. So then I'm just going to lift up my... Everyone does their waterline so differently. I need to lift mine up. These lovely ladies who can just put the pencil in there and do it. I don't know how they do it. And now we're going to do the lower lash line using some of those colours that we used on the upper eye and I'm going to go for a Sigma E20 and I think I'll start off with Chickadee and just run that along the lower lash line Then I'll go in with a latte. And 
then I grab something a little bit more tapered like that and blend it. Don't want anything too harsh. Then take a little bit of that deep plum just to connect the outer. corners there use the eyeliner again and run a little bit in my waterline on the bottom Take my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And... Make the lashes look a lot more dramatic. Okay, then for the lower lashes, I'm taking the MAC Giga Black Mascara, which is really nice and fine to use on the bottom lashes. On a day-to-day -day basis, I don't put mascara on my bottom lashes, but I do... for the evening okay now for blush I'm going to go with a Becca blush is in champagne pop and flower child nice peachy pink just apply a bit of blush there now as I said doing the whole hog thing I'm going to take a loose translucent powder and my real techniques brush um, sorry my real techniques sponge and I'm just going to carve out The line under the cheeks and let that bake for a couple of minutes whilst I apply my highlighter and I'm going to use my favorite highlighter the Dior Skin um, Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in 01 I really really love it really like it so highlighter brush there we go taking the Morphe R31 highlight brush and just applying it to the tips of my cheekbones Cupid's bow tip of the nose and as I don't really highlight the brow bone I'll just do that like that to give it a bit of catching the light And then I'll also take a little brush and I'm going to use it as my inner corner highlight on my eyes. Okay, and then we take a big fluffy brush, taking the real techniques powder brush and then we just sweep that away and then you've got a cut line in there and then I just blend all that out 
for it all to look quite natural. Take a lip liner, Marc Jacobs liner, I think this one is in Primrose. And now I need to try darker, um, lipsticks, but I just like the nudes. Okay, then the lipstick I'm using is Bite Beauty in Honeycomb. And I... really like this nice matte lipstick right so what I'll do I'll go and zhuzh my hair and then I'll come back and show you the finished look okay guys so that's the finished look it's my evening out um, makeup look I hope you enjoyed that and I'm playing with new lighting so I hope it worked I don't think it did I think I do need to get some extra lights to the side here but this will make do for this video until I learn um, all the techniques and everything. The outside light sort of got darker and darker as my time went on. But um, hopefully you got to see the um, whole entire makeup look. And I will see you next time. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this type of video, please give it a thumbs up so that I can film some, some more for you. And I really thank you for joining me. So I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.